coach uh, says that your offense is built around holding the ball and um, taking and holding the ball long enough to get a good shot. And you guys, last year, uh, the field goal percentage was 48%, and roughly you guys are running around 42%. So how much, how important is it to get your shot to go down? You know, at this point in the season, you, you know, you don't have much left here. It's what six, seven, eight games. How important is it to get your your shooting percentage up? Um, it's, it's very important. I mean, we've been getting good shots sometimes, and uh, it's just the fact the ball going in the hole. Because we got great shooters. London's a good shooter. Rob's a good shooter. I've been shooting pretty good lately. Jalen's a good shooter. We just got to put it in the hole. We've been running the offense pretty good. Tulsa's a, a great defensive team, and they've been kind of on the roll. They won, what, the last six games ever since we beat them last time. So they're kind of in a groove, and it was just their night, their day. Could you tell Rob wasn't himself in the second half because of the hamstring? Uh, yeah, maybe a, a little bit. He came out and tried to uh, force a, a quick jumper just to see how it felt. But I didn't really notice it throughout the game. I forgot about it after halftime. So. You guys have lost the last three in a tough stretch since that Tulsa win, really. Long trip out to East Carolina Wednesday, then you kind of come home. What are you looking for? What do you What do you want that, that you think can maybe turn things around this last uh, Basically, in the last few practices, um, we've been working on our defense. And mainly that, that was the focus, coming in, guarding the ball, and being there on the catch on you know, locating shooters. Um, and um, I think we played great defense. They hit some tough shots down the stretch. And um, turnovers really killed us. We had about 15 turnovers that led to like 20 something points and offensive rebounds also. So, I mean, and we're a small team, so we really got to like dig in and box out. And um, you know, that's going to be the focus. And we just got to get better at that. Coach was complimentary of your performance and said, you know, that you're still not 100% from that knee, the knee injury. No. How close are you, or, or what are you lacking in, in terms of where your knee is now compared to before it was the injury? Um, before, I was a lot more athletic, and um, just my footwork sometimes can get, you know, a little shaky. But I had, a, I had a great rehab, you know, if it wasn't for that rehab, I wouldn't be able to play at the time. I was supposed to be back only for... I mean, start back at the Oklahoma State game, but because the rehab went so well, I played about two games before that. So, but I mean, you know, I just got to get back and just, I, I kind of got back from rehabbing. So I need to just continue doing that and get better. But it's around, I'll say about 85% to 90%. Coach was saying that Tulsa's playing probably as well as anyone in the conference right now, maybe with the exception of Memphis. What are the biggest differences you saw today compared to the last time you saw him? I think they hit tough shots <clears throat> down the stretch because we, we made a little run. We got down to four or two or something like that, but we played great defense. It was maybe like two seconds left on the shot clock. Not Maduka maybe hit a, hit a shot off the backboard, and that, that kind of took the life out of it and got them going with the last two minutes of the game. So it's just these last couple games we've been losing, we just got to finish the game. We're in every game we've been playing. We just got to finish. At UTEP, we was in the game when the overtime, we didn't finish. At Memphis, we was right there the last seven minutes of the game, down four, even had the lead, didn't finish the game. And even at Tulane, we was up. It's just, we just got to finish. Because of losing like that, does that make it that much more frustrating? Yeah, I mean, losing gets frustrating anytime. You know, I, me personally, and a lot of other players on the team, we, we come from like Jalen Jones winning the state championship. I won a state championship in high school. so. Nobody's not used to losing three or four games in a row. So, I mean, we're going to get out of it. We got these, this stretch where we get to play home games after East Carolina. So, we'll be fine. We're a confident bunch, and we'll come together as a team. We'll be all right. How's Coach Doherty in the locker room? He said he was pretty up, upbeat with you guys. Is that true? You know, he can sometimes be a little he, he's, he says after He says after every game he's going to judge us on our effort and what the film says. So, he might see one thing on the floor, but if you watch the film, you might see a different thing. So he kind of holds it back until Monday at practice, before practice, when we watch film.